What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a new video We're gonna be going over the new full patch notes for 6.2 update notice, whatever you want to call it I went I did an earlier video in the morning. I think was it in the morning? Where I talked about Valenti not Valenti. I talked about Merlin a bit because we got the uh, Maintenance notice where they kind of give us a small sneak peek at what we're getting so I gave over my thoughts on Merlin a little bit pretty much I am happy that we're getting free multis. I am disappointed that Merlin is the free unit, but that, uh, I'll talk about that more as we go on. So with this, we actually have two new things coming out. We're getting Valenti and Merlin, which I wasn't sure at the time. I didn't realize that they were going to drop both at the same time. I thought they were actually going to do just Merlin and then a week later give us Valenti. So eve of a 100 day celebration update, check an event. You log in every day and you'll get a ticket for 10 days straight. And each ticket is just a free multi on the banner that they give us. So it says new hero is going to be Merlin on there. Collect enough loyalty points and you get Princess Elizabeth and a tavern outfit for her. So I just want to make sure, is this green Elizabeth that they're referring to? Yes, okay. So green Elizabeth, we got her for free on JP as well. They're doing the same thing here. Good job, thumbs up. Tavern theme changes, they're going to be giving us some new stuff for the tavern, usually, so it's like the appearance of the tavern changes, that doesn't do anything, but they usually have some extra cosmetics that you can purchase that actually do something. And the one that, the only one that I care about whatsoever is the one that extends raid durations to 3 hours. That's a good one. New features, patrol system, I don't know how many they're going to have initially, but patrol systems or expeditions, whatever you want to call them, or dispatch, whatever. You send four units out, there's a requirement, there's going to be a CC requirement and a um, rarity requirement. On JP, it's all you are for everything, right? The, maybe they're going to be a little bit more lenient on global since we don't have as deep uh, boxes, but it's going to be full, uh, at least on JP, it's full UR and the CC requirements are decently high. They have up to 12 missions on JP, once again, I don't know how many they're going to have available for us over here. Going on, clear ticket. So you can see here that the rewards currently, the only way to get these skip tickets is from dispatches, patrols, whatever. Skip tickets work on SP dungeons, free stages, and boss battles, right? So the boss stages themselves. It's pretty simple to use. You use them and it works. It just skips. You can use five at a time. I don't know why they limited it to that, but whatever. It uses stamina as well. So my recommendation is you Collect as many as you can, and then whenever there's half stamina, grind them then. I don't really care about this stuff, social media. Consecutive equipment draw and auto salvage. Great update. Significantly speeds up gear summoning, and you can auto salvage, so you can pick it so that you don't have to constantly keep going and running to DN, disenchanting your stuff. It'll salvage automatically for you. And you can set the parameters for however you want it. Stat based, uh, stat buff applied based on account combat class. There's a breakdown, but pretty much it's like per half million uh, CC, box CC, you get points added onto your, you get HP added onto your characters, and this affects everything uh, in the entire game, except for your combat class check-in when you go into guild. But everywhere else, this does have an effect. Meaning, if you have a higher HP box, for example, like 3 million uh, combat class will give you an extra 10% HP across all your units. It's a big difference. Veronica buff. Uh, Veronica will arrive as a guest after, cheering clap after clearing chapter 3. You can invite her uh, to the tavern once a week. Her buff will be applied at all times after clearing chapter 7. So there's just always a 20% thing. You don't have to go through the annoying process of getting her, giving her a piece of food, and then going back to town. New bundles. Now we're getting to the pay to win stuff. Seems fine. Diamond step up bundles, I like this. This is always a good one. Weapon researcher costume set is Valenti's costume set. Discount bundles. I'm curious as to what they're going to be doing with these. On JP, every single day we get a different bundle discounted for $4 or $5. I don't know if this is what they mean or if they're just adding more bundles on. More stuff. Miscellaneous, you can do it. Bundles 1 and 2 timed. Okay, don't care about that. Faster animation, stuff, stuff, stuff. We'll add. A continue feature for main stages three diamonds will add clear ticket rewards in daily task. Uh, okay, good. 
you get another daily that gives you a skip ticket. And yeah. The new Knighthood boss battle. I'm pretty sure this is the original boss battle that we had on JP where... I don't know if they're going to keep the same system or not, but originally the way boss battle used to work is... You would clear a mission, like let's say you, you cleared boss battle, right? Currently, right now, it's just you keep doing boss battle unlimited amount of times, and whatever your highest score is, that's your final score at the end of the day. Now, the original boss battle was more of how well is your box set up, because what it used to do is you would beat it once, and the four units that you used to beat it were now permanently locked out. And then you'd have to keep beating it over and over again, and the points for each run kept on adding up. So your final score was however many runs you completed, all totaled up together. I don't know if that's how they're going to do it, but that's just a little bit of a heads up in case they do go down that route. Ranking matches. Let's see. Oh, it's the same thing as before. Pretty much, you no longer uh, just keep playing in Challenger and gaining points infinitely in and so on. Once you hit Challenger, you can acquire festival points and ranking matches. Yeah, this is pretty much a temporary thing until... Uh, it's a temporary thing until they release the official like top 100 bracket, which is just going to be like 100 matches and then that's it. So I prefer that once it comes out. But yeah. And if you finish top 100, you just stay in Challenger. Balance adjustments, hero skills with single target buff removal have been adjusted so that the rank... Okay, so this is, if you guys know, it's like Slime Rimuru and uh, and Elizabeth is the main one, right? This Elizabeth removes buffs from one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 220%. If you check Elizabeth right now at this exact moment, she doesn't have this portion. They added it on and they kind of like buffed this move and everyone who has this move so that it is included on the rank 1. Really good buff. And then another one, uh, Ruin Effect. Increases damage dealt by 20% per debuff and removes uh, on the target and removes debuffs. And now it's the same thing but 30%. Only two people had this. Main one being King, Green King. Uh, debuff, like stacking multiple debuffs isn't that much of a of a thing being used, so I guess they were buffing it. Usually they only buff these things when they're releasing a new unit and they want to give them that mechanic and they don't want the mechanic, like they realize that the mechanic's really bad, right? Skill description edits, that's fine, that's fine, okay. So what are my thoughts and opinions on this? Pretty much like I said, we're getting a step up. Step up is usually the, the 10 steps. JP has a, like a 7 step system, but I don't think they're going to go down that route since we're getting 10 tickets. That means it's going to be on step 5, you should be getting a GSSR, and then on step 10 will be guaranteed Merlin. Now, they did not mention here at all how this Valenti is going to be added in what shape or form. Did I miss it anywhere? If I missed it, let me know. But I don't see anything about this Valenti at all. Frozen? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I wonder what they're going to do with Valenti. Like I said, I could have just missed it. I'm, I'm pretty blind right now. But I don't see anything about Valenti, so I'm curious as to how we actually get to Valenti. Now, besides that, the Merlin. I mentioned it in my earlier video. I'm not a fan of this Merlin, and pretty much I'm not a fan- I'm a fan of them giving us a free unit, but I'm not a fan of them picking this Merlin, because what to me it looks like is they looked at on JP all the units that don't really get used, right? And they use that as an excuse to uh, to give us that unit for free, rather than giving us a, a better unit, right? And this goes back to the, the Green Lilia being a step-up banner situation. Green Lilia, uh, instead of being a free 6-6, she was a step-up unit. And the thing is, as a free 6-6, she saw a lot of play on JP, and even to this day gets used occasionally on certain teams. Then, they put her as a banner. Now this Merlin is a banner unit, and sees borderline no play whatsoever. 
So I think the reasoning is just that she wasn't gonna, you know, people weren't gonna summon for her really, and they kind of just gave her to us as like a way to show like, hey, you know, we, we, we do things for our player base. And like I said, I'm happy we're getting a free thing. It's just I'm a little bit skeptical as to the, like, you know, what's behind the scenes stuff. So I could just be, uh, you know, over skeptical of this. And maybe it's just like, hey, we just want to be nice. But personally, I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's that. I think it's just uh, no one was going to summon for her anyways. And it was going to be a skip banner. So they decided to give us to, for free. And that was about it. I went over both. Valenti and Merlin in both of my previous two videos. So if you guys want to take a look at what they do You can check that out, but I'll give a quick little rundown over here. Valenti is supposed to be the penetration pierce rate counter Her passive is decreases all enemies pierce rate by the value of this hero's resistance So pretty much what she does is her resistance value she takes that number and decreases all the enemies pierce rate by 20% for like ungeared and it can scale higher with costumes and you know just building your gear. She gets used a decent amount to counter Demon Meliodas and Blue Lilia but they haven't dropped Blue Lilia yet. I think they wanted to give us a counter ahead of time rather than us being in a meta where you simply can't do anything against this team. Same way how they gave us Gother and Galland at the same time, applies here. So Valenti is kind of a, uh, I don't know, I, I want to say she's a must, she's like, if you don't care about PvP, then you don't really need her. But if you play PvP at all, she's pretty needed. And if you're currently using Demon Meliodas and you run against Valenti, you're probably going to lose until Lilia comes out. Because Demon Meliodas will do like negative 5 damage. And that's because... This doesn't just remove 20 pierce rate off of Demon Meliodas, this removes like 60 because Demon Meliodas' pierce rate is 40 and then that gets tripled to 120 so it's going to go down to 20 and get tripled to, to 60. So it uh, cuts his damage in half pretty much. And Merlin, I'm not going to spend too much time on her. Pretty much Valenti is the like anti like fun police and just stalls the game forever and makes it so that your opponent can't do any damage. And uh, this does a decent amount of damage if they have buffs on. But Merlin uh, doesn't really do too much. She's blue, her passive is kind of useless, no one really stacks debuffs at all. Move doesn't really do much, like, like I get what this is doing, right? Like this is supposed to apply like 6 debuffs and then, you know, it's supposed to give her like 12% increased damage. It's really not that much. Her multipliers aren't that high, her base stats aren't that high. Yeah. Uh, that, that's really it. So, people will use her to test her out, but besides that, give it like a week and she stops being used because she'll lose to every other team out there. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow we do summoning video and PvP showcases for probably Merlin and Valenti either way. And that's it. Have fun.